On Monday, May 18th, the Reds and Phillies squared off at Pilot Knob. Shirls got off to a filthy start, striking out Handsome Matt, then enticing Dr. Seuss to ground out weakly to right, and then getting the Red Hot Pooh Bear to ground out to center to end the top of the first. Not to be outmatched, Hardball started out the bottom of the first by striking out the kid, then Coop, and then finishing the inning off with a K of Shirls on a nasty sinker. After quickly shutting down the Reds in the top of the second inning, Shirls would help his own cause, striking first blood as he lined a single high off the chain link fence in left field. The ever patient deep sea fisherman would walk, giving the Phillies two guys on with nobody out in the bottom of the second inning. Hardball would proceed to lock in and get himself out of a jam. First by fanning the kid. Then by striking out Coop. Before finally inducing a ground ball from the always dangerous Shirls to end the threat. Shirls would start off the third by striking out Handsome Matt before Nightmare gives the Reds their first jolt of excitement, sending a screaming line drive to left field, only to have it caught by Deep Sea Fisherman. Shirls would get into some trouble later, walking Hardball, and then walking Handsome Matt, before getting Dr. Seuss to pop out right back to the mound, ending the threat. After a walk, Deep Sea Fishman would blast one well over the left field fence, giving the Phillies their first run to the game, putting them up two to nothing. The blast would prove to be all that Charles would need. As he went out in the top of the sixth, giving Wally Wolfball to strike out on a ball that hit him. Striking out hardball in a nasty off-speed curveball. Before finishing things off with a strikeout of Palpatine. The Phillies would take game one, two to nothing over the defending Egan champions. Game two, Deep Sea faced off against Nightmare. The Reds struck early with a Pooh Bear home run, followed by an RBI single by Handsome Matt that featured some expert base running by Hardball as he blew through the stop sign en route to the Reds scoring their second run of the game. Deep Sea would settle in, making the Reds look foolish on some nasty pitches until the fifth inning when a handsome Matt bomb off the hands of Shirls sparked a Reds rally that saw them play five in the inning. Nightmare may have been embarrassed of walking in a run while hitting, he was anything but embarrassed of his dominant pitching performance against the Phillies as he struck them out left and right with a variety of sinkers, sliders, and anything else he could think of. 
He'd end the game in style with his flashy outside sinker against Cooper, giving the Reds a 7-0 victory and a series split with the Phillies. After the game, we had a chance to catch up with the Game 1 starters, Charles and Hardball. Alright, so we're here with Charles and Hardball, our Game 1 starters, in a rematch from... I need a beer. You want a beer? Yeah, well I have beers. Alright, yeah, let's go get beers. We'll see you in a bit. It's un momento. Alright, we'll be right back. Alright, we are back with our Game 1 starters, Charles of the Phillies, Hardball of the Reds. So, Charles, this was your first start of the season. How'd you feel like your stuff was working tonight? I've had some historically bad starts on my first night. One time I walked seven consecutive guys and against the Giants. So in that respect, I'm happy with my stuff. And I feel like it got better as the night went on. Oh, but I was, I was throwing, like, it was, I was happy because I was throwing, like, lots of different pitches. Yeah. So, so in that respect, I, I mean, I have to be happy. Yeah. I shut out the world champs. Egan champs, but soon to be world champs. I appreciate that. Um, you did shut out Evolution. He did. Nobody shuts out Evolution. So, hardball. Uh, tonight was some historically cold temperatures for a wiffle ball game. Did you feel like that affected your pitching in, in any way? Uh, more along the lines of that it was windy the first three innings, and then after that the wind completely died down. And I do like a little breeze to help coax along uh, the fact that I throw about 90 miles an hour. <laughs> Yes, we do. And that, have you uh, manicured the beard recently? By manicured, do you mean brushed, shampooed, That's exactly uh, what I mean. conditioned, and beard oil? Yes. Then yes. All right, and last question. Uh, July 28th, Phillies and the Reds face off again. Mm -hmm. Are we going to get a rematch? Yes. Excellent. All right. Well, we are signing off with Sheryls and Hardball, our game one starting pitchers. Nice game, gentlemen. Well pitched, both of you. See you in July. Absolutely.